So this is the temporary digs for the quail. And we had to make it secure from whatever. I don't really see raccoons, but I know they're in the city. And they have little hands, so, you know, we kind of locked that up. Um, this one is a spring lock. And then there's this one is um, really just like that, but I got a rock there. I am so tired. So they were so shell-shocked from coming out yesterday that barely did they even come out. I don't think they slept. One of them bonked them, the other one on the head. I saw a few feathers around. Nothing serious, I guess. But um, the rain is coming. So this is a good time to test out our method. Um, we usually, last year we used... Um, uh, ordinary tarp right and this year we thought we would just see how it goes with the um, canvas so we got it you know let's see. we have so many rocks right yeah there's a use for our, our escarpment uh, rocks so generally they don't like to be um, in the dark some of them are out here, but they had such a night. I, we really have to protect them because there's an opossum. And in Hamilton, there's a hundred thousand uh, feral cats. So until they get their new digs, which is in the process, it should be quite nice. Um, these are what I would call, uh, say, I don't know, like middle-aged. Some of them are. One of them might be geriatric, I don't really know, but anyways, they didn't like the change at all. But they don't seem worse for wear. All day they were just resting around and enjoying. They had a little bit of sun in there and they were just, you know, feeling more secure by staying in, I guess. And they were snuggling to each other and they were exhausted. It was funny. So I guess they had to, because it was a different environment, they had to figure out, um, like, what the hierarchy was. And, is that you, Frankie? Yeah, Frankie's got a Audi, an Audi on the top of his head. He ruined his haircut. 